evening, everybody. Welcome to our Wednesday evening devotions for this Wednesday, February the 2nd, 2022. This is Our Savior Lutheran Church. I want to start off by asking a simple question, a church-related question, even though it doesn't sound like it. And that question is, what do you need? What do you need? What do you really need? And while you're chewing on the answer to that, I want to tell you that Cindy and I, we were able to squeeze in a few days away last weekend. We both really needed time away. We needed time alone. We needed time together. It's been a long two years. And a two years that never seemed to end. But even in that basically one day away, I was on the phone praying. I was texting folks with needs for prayer. I was writing reference letters. It turned out to be more of a time of crisis management rather than a vacation. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Because I'm reminded of my sermon a few weeks ago. If you remember the gospel where Jesus was trying to have some vacation, it didn't work out too well for him either. The hungry crowds followed him. The hungry crowds followed him around to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. The hurting, the sick. They all followed him. They all needed him. And it turned out to be more of a time of crisis management for Jesus rather than a vacation. Now, most days, I would be speaking to you about the importance of rest. Most days I would be talking to you about the need to take some time off, take care of yourself, to get into the boat, go to the other side. But tonight, tonight I want to talk a little bit. I want to talk to you. But maybe more importantly, your work. Now, I realize that most of you have tuned out by now. But those of you who are still hanging on, for the rest of you, while Jesus invites his disciples to rest, you'll notice that they don't get that chance. They don't get that opportunity. Instead, Jesus and his disciples respond to the needs of the throngs that were coming to them. As they saw the crowds and their many, many needs, their many, many unmet needs, Jesus has compassion on them. He puts his plans for rest temporarily on hold and goes out to them, healing, curing, feeding, and teaching all, all who are in need. And this is what I find interesting, that this passage, while it starts off sounding a note for the significant need for rest from our labors, it shifts gears to move instead to talk about compassion and need. And these two, compassion and need, always go together. Which is why I'd like to ask you this question. What do you need? What do you need to feel whole, to feel complete? What do you need to have a fulfilling life? What do you need to make a difference in the world? What do you need to feel like you belong, like like you make a difference in this world of ours? And here's the why I'm asking that question. Here's why I'm asking. As we prepare to open back up for worship, the jury is still out as to what exactly worship will look like given the recent changes again in the virus. But we are still going to reopen on March the 2nd. We are still reopening because the needs are too great. But not only your needs are great, but the church's needs are great as well. Everything is shut down, and yet everyone wants things back the way they were. It's interesting when folks tell me that they wish that we still had this in the church or we wish... They were, we were still doing this, or we wish we were doing this or that, I usually respond with, well, you know what? There's a great way for you to get involved. And you know what the response is. You know what the response is. I'm too busy, too scared, 
too worried, too tired, or my favorite, but you're the pastor, Pastor Bob. Now, that, of course, comes immediately following the, gosh, Pastor Bob, we know how busy you are. Church is going to reopen soon, and we have many, many needs. Most especially ushers, readers, communion assistants. So I'm asking that you not think someone else is going to do it, but that your time of rest is over. And your call to ministry is right now. For the way to a fulfilled life and a fulfilling life is through a life of service. You see, those two go together. So I hope that your need is not to come to church out of a sense of duty. But I hope that through your service, you come back to church with a sense of delight, a sense of joy, a sense of needing to be worshiping God, of serving God, because it completes you, because it is what you need. I hope you will come back open to the reality that things are going to be different, but much more the same than you might have thought, but also the reality that we need you. We need you. God needs you. And you know what? You need you. I hope that you will come out of a sense of delight, desire, and anticipation. But that's only going to happen if we're clear and honest about what we as individuals and we as a community need in order to flourish. In order to flourish and to be the people of God that God has called us to be. And so my simple question to you, eh, maybe it's not so simple a question, is this. My question is not, what do you want? But my question is, and God's question is, what do you need? The church's needs are great. The community's needs are great. Your needs are great too. But what does it take to fully fulfill those needs and to live that life? In John's Gospel, he often describes it as abundant life. No matter what you name it, we all need it. We all sense that something more is out there for us. And that is what Jesus offers. So, what do you really, really need? Amen.